In this video, I want to take a, just a moment to talk about a metadata spreadsheet. This is used during the database design process, and its advantage is that you can lay it all out where it's easy to see, lay it all out. What I mean by that is the database design. Uh, and you can indicate things like the data types that are going to be used, the names of the columns, the names of the tables, whether columns uh, allow nulls, whether the columns are primary keys, whether they are unique values, are they representing a foreign key, does it have some kind of check um, that you want to impose, does it um, include a default value. And by putting this together, for example, I might have uh, a check for the attendee phone number, and I might um, say like uh, test check, phone number that's a we're checking to make sure it's an actual phone number or that email addresses have to be unique so yes they have to be unique um, <clears throat> that a floor has to be uh, between uh, one and ten or whatever it's going to be. Meetings can only be so long, dates have to be, maybe uh, can't be too far back, and the and, and so on. The idea is to, to define very simply what that database is going to look like. Um, the advantage of using the spreadsheet over just using SQL code is I, I believe it makes it easy to see everything in one spot. It also makes it easy to hand off to somebody and say, hey, could you look this over? Can you give me a reality check on this? Do they, the names make sense? Um, is the naming convention consistent? Is the data type consistent? Do the, the constraints that I'm putting on the database, do they make sense? Um, those are important things to know. And I think a metadata spreadsheet is an easy, useful tool to, uh, to define it and um, share that information with other people.